check this out guys i wanted to show you i tried it experimented with something i caught a female palamedes in the field uh yesterday and i wanted to experiment with seeing if they would lay eggs in captivity on in a smaller flight area because i had last year i did the same project but i had a real big flight area for them and it was very cumbersome and large and, and whatnot. So I decided to try this little one. Um, my buddy Todd Stout from out in Utah, he's got a great company, guys. Here's the link to his uh, website, Raising Butterflies. Uh, he's from, from out, out in Utah, but he sells these things. This is actually a collapsible little flight cage. And believe it or not, guys, I wanna show you something. I just have it kind of like strapped to my uh, fence post here. Check this out, guys. I'm gonna try and do this without letting her go. I want to show you the fruit. Guys, look at this. Every one of those little white dots is an egg. So in, in like less than 24 hours, this butterfly, a single female butterfly has laid a bunch of eggs I, I mean I haven't I haven't even started to count yet but there's a bunch there guys I mean that's like that's easily 30 or 40 eggs like just from what I can see right there um, basically all I'm doing is uh, I got a, a stem of red bay and I got a pin and I pinned the stem of the red bay through the green uh, little the fabric on the side. Not this white fabric, it's too soft and flimsy, I don't wanna tear it. But the green fabric that they put on the side to make the uh, contraption stronger, I'm pinning the cutting or the little stem to this and the cutting is just in a water pick. I've got one on each side, you see, I'm, I don't know if there's any eggs. Yeah, there's one. Yep, well, I don't know. I can't really tell. She likes that side. A lot of times they will pick, they will hang out in an area where there's more uh, sunlight, like for, for whatever reason, maybe in the morning, the sun was coming up over here, so maybe she was just drawn to this area, but she's very happy in here. Uh, problem is there's no food for her, so I, if you're gonna do something like this, you either have to put some flowers in here or some kind of feeding thing. Uh, I'm just gonna take her inside real quick and feed her some sugar water. Um, and that will do just fine. But she's, I'll bet she's gonna drop an egg for us like right here and right now. So see, see how she's liking this area right here for whatever reason. Um, not sure exactly why, but let's see if we can catch her actually laying an egg. Yep, she's laying one right. No, maybe not. She's been a good girl. Uh, we're gonna feed her twice a day at least, sugar water. Um, in fact, let me show you how we do that. All right, so I'm doing this in a way that's not like super recommended. I'm grabbing her with wings closed um, as close to the both wings closed, or the wings closed, as close to the thorax as possible, all right? And that can hold her like this. I, I usually don't use my thumb and index finger. I used, like to use these two fingers because you don't squeeze as hard. And uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take her inside. I'm gonna mix up some sugar water for her real quick and let her feed. All right, guys, I just have a, a cup with a little bit of water in it. I got, oh, I just spilled. All right, I have a little bit of sugar, guys. There's, there's really not a whole lot needed. I just, yeah. Anyway, that's actually enough. So I just dissolved the sugar in the water. And then, I'll show you what we do. This is really pretty simple process, guys. All right, so we, dissolve that. I got a little plate with paper towel and then I 
I just pour a little bit of the sugar water in the middle. You don't need a lot. I mean, a single butterfly doesn't eat that much. And then we take our butterfly and a lot of times they just go right to it. She's used to eating from flowers in the wild, so a lot of times they just, it's not instinctual. What we do, I'm trying to trying to do this. Take a pin, you see there, where their proboscis is, that big circle there? Just take your pin and encourage the proboscis down onto the paper towel. It might take a few times but eventually, she starts to feed on her own. She starts to, she stops fluttering. Once she realizes it's something that she can do, she stop. literally, she was struggling with me until she recognized that it was something that's beneficial for her and sugar water. It's basically all they need is some carbohydrates to keep their energy going and fluids to keep from dehydrating. And that's all we really need to do. And then what we'll also do is just put a container over the top. She'll do that for five or 10 minutes. She'll take in all the fluids she needs. Once she's done and fully hydrated, she'll move and uh, she'll, she'll walk off the paper and you know, it'll be time to lay eggs again. So I'll just, Come back in a few minutes. We'll see when she's done. I'll drink some coffee. And in the meantime, we'll wait for her to finish feeding and then we'll go put her back out onto the, into her little container to lay eggs. All right, guys, less than five, probably five minutes later, you know, the female Palamedes is, um, and she's crawling around the container. She's ready to go. She's done feeding. So, I'm just going to take her nice hydrated abdomen full of eggs. I'm going to take her back outside and put her back into her little container to lay, to lay some more eggs. And then we'll let her go here in a few minutes or a couple hours rather. So, you know, it's good to have a place with some shade to hang something like this so that the sun is not scorching them. You know, it's like dappled sunlight is the best. So they taste with their feet. So we'll get her back into egg laying mode. We'll get her tasting that host plant. And then I'll just kind of let her be. It wouldn't surprise me if she dropped an egg right there, guys. So I'm going to let her do her thing for a couple more hours. And then once she lays a few more eggs, we'll let her go. Okie dokie, Smokey. Let's see. All right. Palamides still alive and well. I fed her earlier. But now we're going to... There's a bunch of eggs on there already. So watch this. We're gonna let her go anyway. Come here. Come here, you did good job, sweetheart. Good job, good job. Here, I'm gonna let her go. All right, so here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna unpin. Uh, let me see that, son. Look at that. Heck yeah, bro. Good day. Heck yeah. So I'm gonna just unpin the, I got, yeah. Thank you though. Okay. Look at that guys. That's a freaking butt ton of eggs, man. So I'm gonna unpin these. Take them inside. Actually, I'll just take the whole container inside. All 
All right, guys, I'm just gonna do a quick little outro here. I'll show you what we got. There are a couple eggs on the second one, not many. Uh, there's one there. Let's see, there's a, I, think, I think I saw two or three eggs on the second one. So that, that has to do with placement of, oh yeah, there's another one. The placement of the host plant in the little cage is important. They have, butterfly has to be in constant contact with it. This stem, however, just got obliterated with eggs. So there's, I'm guessing at least, at least 50 eggs on here without even hesitating, I'm guessing 50. Uh, I'll do a final count, put the number down below. But guys, that's all it takes. If you want a cool trap like that, or not a trap, if you want a cool little flight area like that, check out Raising Butterflies. My buddy Todd out in Utah. And uh, he's got stuff like that, different size cages, um, sleeves for raising caterpillars. Now we're gonna go raise Palamides uh, eggs and to caterpillars, and then we'll show you the life cycle. Hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Um, we're gonna get to the life cycle of this beautiful butterfly now. Take care, guys. Look what's in our star fruit tree. Can barely hear them through our impact windows. He's eating the star fruit. You like the green ones, huh? Really? I was wondering why our star fruit tree didn't produce that much this summer. If these guys are coming in and eating all the all the green ones, oh, I don't know where he went. <laughs>